He looks like, he looks like uh, Phil Rizzuto. <laughs> yeah, I'm taller than him, though. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you what you've been doing with yourself since you're no longer manager, but <laughs> now this I understand. This is what happens to old-time managers. <laughs> <laughs> you're just out on a street yeah. corner somewhere. Well, I want to start out by congratulating you. Uh, Hall of Fame. That's very cool. Thank you. Thank That's you very much. You were inducted just uh, a few months ago, right? Yes. Uh -huh. A month ago. Uh, one month ago. Yeah, in fact, here's my uh, Hall of Fame ring. Can I see that? Yeah. Can I take it off your yeah, finger? Sure. That's so cool. This is great. I can't believe you're giving this to me. Thank you. <laughs> and it's so neat. Look at that. That's very cool. This thing is heavy. Yes, it's a beautiful ring, but you know, it's, a, it's really amazing. No, you can't have it either. <laughs> if I clap real loud, you know, I get to keep a, it. What's amazing about it is that the baseball, Major League Baseball... Mm, it's got a lemony taste. Yeah. <laughs> Major League Baseball has been played for 100, over 100 years, mm -hmm. and you stop and realize there's only 14 managers in the Hall of Fame. At, at the Hall of Fame, you, you told the story to illustrate what a fierce competitor yeah. you were. And, uh, and, and, and I was wanted to get you, I don't think a lot of people heard it. I, I wanted to hear this story again, let oh, everyone yeah. hear well, it. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, you know, when there's a manager of a team, you gotta wanna win. I mean, uh, you manage in the major leagues. And to tell you how bad I wanna win, a few years ago, we were playing in Cincinnati and I got up Sunday morning and I went to church. And who came in and sat right next to me but the manager of the Cincinnati Reds, Johnny McNamara, sat right there. Mm -hmm. I looked at him, I knew why he was in church. And he knew why I was there. And at the conclusion of the mass, he and I are walking out the center aisle together. And I'm looking at him. I'm saying, man, I got to beat this guy today. And as we approached the front door, he said to me very quietly, he said, wait for me outside, Tommy. I said, okay. I said, okay, Johnny. I said, you know, where's he going? The mass is over. Mm -hmm. And I watched him. He went over that side of the church and he knelt down and he lit a candle. Mm -hmm. And instead of me going through the front door, I went over to this side of the church. I went in front of the altar and I waited. And when he left, I went down and blew that candle out. <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah. I, I, I knew one thing. I knew one thing. He wasn't lighting that candle for a dead relative. And all throughout the game, I kept screaming across the field, hey, Mac, it ain't going to work, pal. I blew it out. <laughs> and we clobbered him that day, 13-2. Yeah. to well, fact, and, last... and you're going to hell forever, but you won the game. You know, that's the important thing. Last year, he, last year, he and his wife, Ellen, went to Rome, and he sent me a card. He said, try blowing this candle out. <laughs> and you got on the next Concord and flew to Rome, hip-checked the Pope. <laughs> you got to do anything you can to win, Conan. Yeah? You got to win. That's I'm, the so amazing you, thing. You're getting me into the spirit now, because I'm kind of a, I'm a pleasant guy, and I like to do okay, and I work okay. hard on the show. Okay, oh, 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 hold it. Don't give me that okay bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like one of my players said to me one day, why do you holler at me all the time? I said, because I want you to be better than you are. Mm -hmm. He said, I try. I said, try? I can get a truck driver to try and go out on the highway, get a guy driving a truck, bring him in there and sit him down next to you and say, sir, would you try if I pay you a million dollars a year like this donkey's getting? <laughs> he would try from three in the morning to midnight. You're I right. don't win. I don't win championships with triers. I win with doers. Don't ever tell me, okay. Don't you ever say that to me. All right. All right. I'm going to go. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Jeff, how much time is left on this show tonight? What? 15 minutes? I'm going to make the next 15 minutes of this show the best late night TV you ever saw. Now, yeah. ah, that's what I want to hear. This is what I want to hear. Don't give me that stuff. Maybe I tell our Could you guys, come by a little more often? I tell our guys, I tell my players, believe that you're the best baseball player in the world. I now believe I'm the Just best baseball player. Just don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> well, tell me about this. I know that you were so committed, that you were so committed to the Dodgers that you want to take it on into the afterlife. Is that right? That's true. Tell us this. That's true. Uh, I've been with the Dodgers for 48 years. And uh, every time a sports writer runs out of a question to ask, he'll say to me, Tommy, what would you like to have put on your tombstone? And I said, and I told my wife this, I said, when I die, I want you to put on my tombstone in big letters. Dodger Stadium was his address, but every ballpark was his home. So about 14 years ago, we're in spring training. I'm out on the field. They said, Mr. O'Malley, the owner, 
wanted to see me in the press room. I went in there, and there he was with the members of the press, his family and his friends, and he made a presentation to me. He heard me say that, and he presented me with a marble tombstone that's this high. <laughs> and on wow, it, great. On it, on it, it I... says, Tom Lasorda, a Dodger. And right in the middle of the tombstone, there's a picture of a heart with a drop of blood dripping from it, painted blue. And on the bottom, in letters this high, it says Dodger Stadium was his address, but every ballpark was home. I was so elated. I felt honored. I felt like I was the only man in organized baseball to receive a tombstone long before he was to pass on. <laughs> and then accepting it, and then accepting it, I said to him, Mr. O'Malley, I want to go on record of saying to you and all these people that I want to work for the Dodgers even when I'm dead and gone. He looked at me and said, wait a minute. I could understand you saying how much you love the Dodgers, but how can you work for the Dodgers when you're dead? I said, when I die, I want my wife to put the Dodger home schedule on my tombstone, and when the people are in a cemetery visiting their loved ones, they'll say, let's go to Lasorda's grave to find out if the Dodgers are playing at home or on the road. Wow. <laughs> Wait, it, that's, that's good. Now, that's pride. Yeah, that's pride, but See, I just... Don't no, no, wait a minute. Let me say this. That's pride in the organization. Can you honestly tell these people tonight that you want to do this job when you're dead and gone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, pal. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I would, I would do that. I just think your tombstone's getting a little cluttered. I don't <laughs> No, because... Can, can you buy merchandise on the side of the but thing? You I mean, cannot, <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is, if you can honestly say you would like to do this job when you're dead, then you are, without a doubt, a happy person, and in most cases, a successful person. I want to do this job until the end of recorded time! There you go. Man, you, you were managing a big team. This is a talk show. <laughs> it's on 20 really... years. 20 years I managed the Dodgers. Yeah? That's right. Became one of only four in the history of the major leagues to manage the same team for 20 years or more. And when I got this job, Vince Scully interviewed me. He said, you're replacing a man that's been there for 23 years. Do you hope to match that record? I said, buddy, all I want to do is live 23 more years. <laughs> and then... And then you hit him. And, and I hit him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Every story ends with me thinking you're going to hit the guy. Well, job well done. And it Thank was very you, nice to meet Thank you, Mr. You. Lasorda. Good to have you on the program. Thank you very much. Continued good health. Congratulations. Tommy Lasorda, everybody. Cindy Lauper is coming right up. We'll be right back.